Speaking of celebrations, the Northwest Arkansas Jazz Society has an event happening to celebrate jazz. And here with the details about an exciting partnership, we've got Robert back in studio. Thanks for hey, joining Robert. us. Thank you. Great to be here again. Yes. Robert, talk about all the wonderful things that the Jazz Society is doing. Well, you know, we've been around for over 30 years now. And um, we are dedicated to presenting, promoting, and celebrating the great American art form of jazz. And this will be our 25th summer jazz concert season starting okay. uh, kicking off this Sunday, June the 4th, with one of our favorite events. It's called Jazz in Bloom, and it's out at the Botanical Garden of the Ozarks. So we celebrate the music. We have a internationally renowned jazz performer that will be there. Uh, Case DeGiro is going to be providing hors d'oeuvres. That's part of the ticket libations, and it's outdoors. We have the run of the entire Botanical Gardens. I saw you two okay. out there for the chefs in the garden, so yes. you know how gorgeous it is. Everything is in bloom. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, the artist we have coming is Anat Cohen. She's uh, is from Israel, but she lives in mm -hmm. Brooklyn. And she's won countless readers' polls and jazz magazines as best clarinetist. But she also has a passion for world music. She's bringing her Brazilian trio. But they also do New Orleans music. They even do some Dvorak. It's an amazing group. Three musicians, but they all are multi-instrumentalists. Oh, wow. So it's, there's like eight instruments that will be... Played. Yeah, we're is that what we're listening to yeah. right now? Yes, that it looks is. Good. That sounds I very good. Is, yes. yes. Man, and uh, awesome. so it, it's just a great time. And uh, as I said, it, it kicks off our season. And we're going to have events all across Northwest mm -hmm. Arkansas this summer, from the rail yard up in Rogers to Crystal Bridges, Turnbow Park. So we're really into collaborating. A lot mm -hmm. of the the um, arts presenters and the various communities who have activities throughout the summer call on us to help curate events. Sure. All of this information is available on our website, digjazz.com. Okay. Yes, so I'm curious about these relationships that you have with these kind of renowned artists. I feel like there's some kind of like a, a jazz underworld <laughs> that nobody knows about, that you pick up the bat phone and you call your friends and you say, we need a concert. How does the, those relationships work? You know, you really hit the nail on the head. I, it, <laughs> it dawned on me, I've been doing this for over 40 years, starting with um, doing a radio show on KUAF. That's 43 years running, wow. Shades of Jazz, and then of of course, when the Walt Art Center opened up, I became their jazz curator, and I'm still doing that. So it's like any other thing. When you're kind of embedded in a particular artistic community, you make friends, you meet people from around the world, and um, it makes it a lot easier when an event comes up or somebody wants to do something special, you get on the phone. and Sure. Yeah, in this case, I, I discovered that a Knott's Trio was going to be in Tulsa the day before. Oh. So whenever you can get them that close yeah. and not have to fly them in, that helps. But sure. it is an amazingly exciting band to hear. Yes. And the gardens, as I said. It's beautiful. Right. Yes. So give us those details again. It's happening this, this weekend, Sunday, right? Sunday. And the doors are at 530. Uh, the concert starts at 6. It'll, we'll be there for a couple of hours. Food, libations, Anat Cohen's trio will be there. Digjazz.com for tickets, and it's nearly sold out. Nearly sold oh, out, so okay. get your tickets while you can. Good food, Case DeGario, the chef, is going to yeah. provide some uh, hors d'oeuvres for you there as well. Yes, so. he will. Uh, you know, I also just wanted to mention how grateful I am to what you two do here. Oh. There's so much going on in northwest Arkansas now. There's so many choices we have. And how you bring this all to people's attention and share it is really an asset to us all. So oh, thank, thank you. you. Thanks for saying thank that. You. Well, you all are we doing, you know, the, the, the boots on the ground. We're just kind of have the platform <laughs> to, the to brag on you. So yeah, we yeah. appreciate all the work that you're Part doing. Part of the as well. team. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, Robert. <laughs> for sure.